Jazz Café is probably the most intimate place in Newcastle for uh, listening to cool music. I was there um, the end of September and uh, it was really cool, really uh, laid back, mellow, chilled out. Um, it's always good for the live music, you have some interesting sort of uh, experiments or kind of jazz uh, saxophone plays and stuff like that, it's good. And you always see all the, the strange people that you see walking around the street during the daytime and they're always to hang out around there. Big burger and chips and you end me for four pounds and then you just uh, you sit down at one of the little round tables and you've got cool little red lit lamps and stuff. And it's very 50s, eh? but it's just something different. Man. You have to kind of go through this door that isn't really what you expect of a club. And you go in and it's kind of, you can, it's got vibes. As soon as you walk in the door, it, you can feel like all the people that have played there and all the like stuff that's gone on. Jazz Cafe's got a really nice classical, airy atmosphere. Good vibes all around there. You go in there and the guy, the guy that you see on the street down there is always the most helpful guy in the world. He comes up to you and says how happy he thinks you are when you when he sees you smiling and he likes to see all the students there. Time war, it's like you go back and you're another like time era, which is it, it's it's cool though, you know. It's just a very chilled out place. You go for a quiet night, it's nice. Uh, there's a uh, yeah, nice atmosphere, good music, and the food's not bad, so chilled basically. Oh, yeah. All right, relax. Is that cool? Is that a radio in your pocket? Or are you just pleased to hear us? Newcastle Student Radio. Good afternoon. For those of you who just joined us, we have the one and only Mr. Keith Crombie of the Jazz Cafe fame in here, playing us some of his uh, favourite tunes from 3 o'clock until 5 o'clock. When did you first get involved with the actual Jazz Cafe in Newcastle? Oh, that was uh, 17 years ago. It started uh -huh. off as a French restaurant. Yeah. We had an, uh, a Shabine across the road, which eventually got rid. What's... Uh, a late night drinking establishment I should be sort of, um, yeah um, inspector please said it's a red I said well I didn't think it was a fancy dress party <laughs> <laughs> he said you don't seem to be taking this seriously I said well I'm not a very serious person the jazz cafe to me is quite unique um, it has an ambience all of its own I get um, comment when I say, have you been here before? Well, no, but I'm coming back again because there's nowhere else like it in Newcastle. And I think I would agree with that because, is it 30 seconds we've got in here? And Keith's part of that, isn't he? Because when you look at Keith and he fits the, he fits the decor. <laughs> <laughs> and, and people come in and they're quite, they, they, they get quite scared of kids. They say, move up here, shut back and get more bums on these things over here. And they're like looking and then they, they sort of think, oh, well, he's just a character. And they accept him as that, which I think is wonderful. I really think, um, where else would you get that? I was not popular. I was actually, um, shall we say, bullied by these teachers at the end I became a complete rebel. I wasn't actually playing tricks or being bad, it was just something I was picked on. And of course you used to get the belt. If you didn't get the belt a day you weren't uh, you know, you weren't in the league. You think children should still be belted, Keith? I don't suppose it does any harm really, because with us it just became a bit of a competition. He's got this graffiti exterior, but yeah. he's a real softie at heart. I came in one um, Valentine's Day, right? We've got the gig for Valentine's night. And laid on the chair was a single rose. In comes Casey, and he said, you're not sitting over it? I said, well, somebody's sitting. He says, they're yours. <laughs> <laughs> and this gruff, you know, bearded chappy who's always chilling you had actually, you know, put all that. He said, Oh, well, you know, you've been coming here a long time. So as I say, he might be gruff on the outside, but he's a big softy on the inside. Yeah, and the big ones were there, and I always remember John Lennon pushed past me, and he said to me, out of my way, I'm one of the Beatles. And I always remember my reply was, well, watch it, pal, I'll put my foot on you, and I'll crush you. <laughs> <laughs> Have in 
Newcastle, to, in my experience, although it's supposed to be a wonderful city for social life, is a whole lot of jazz, uh, not jazz, um, disco places and uh, rave places, which must be all the same. I haven't been in there, but I think they must be all the same. <laughs> it's a hands-on sort of place. It's not corporate. It's the antithesis of corporate managed establishments, faceless management. People who all they want to do is get get the money off you. We like to see people go out of here having a good night at a reasonable price and being a bit better and heard some live music which is of a you know, reasonable quality. Uh which they would not normally hear anywhere else. Well, the atmosphere is dependent on three factors. In, uh, the, the, the music which is being played, the place itself, plus the audience. And you cannot predict at any time how the atmosphere might be. Sometimes it's not a good atmosphere, at other times it's an absolutely magic atmosphere. I like to feel I've entertained people, but my biggest nightmare in life is uh, actually to uh, um, spoil people's fun on a Saturday night. I always think Saturday nights are very important. I always let people come to the Jazz Cafe to have a good time on a Saturday night if I can help it, you know. I'll do my best on a Saturday night to make sure they have a good time. Because I think the only young person, Saturday night is always an important night. I know when I was. Uh, I can't remember that far back. I used to look forward to my Saturday nights and I really used to enjoy them no matter what I was doing. I've worked hard down here. It's very hard. I, I'm not saying to blow my own trumpet, but it is quite hard work. But I will say I, I've enjoyed every minute of it. I've met some very interesting people who normally a person of my social position would not have met on level terms. I had some most interesting times and conversations with some people who might be regarded as famous or but just people who had some great chats. And at least I think we're good ambassadors for the city. And uh, I hope we can continue a bit longer doing the same. If they lose this, I think um, we have to have lost a little gem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. In our opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, one question on our floor that someone's wanted to ask you, Kate, if you don't mind me asking it. And it's quite a profound one. It's uh, Is the glass half empty or half full? Um, well, I would say. Yeah, I think you're well, yeah, well, you're well, 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 well